another episode of LWC Stack. So guys, in today's video, we will learn how we can bind data from Apex to the Lightning Web Component using the Apex wire methods. So guys, uh, today we will be having two examples. In the first example, we will wire the method uh, with a LWC component property. And in the second method, we will wire the method uh, to a function. So guys, the basically difference between these two uh, wired methods will be like the first one in which we will be binding the data with a property it's, it's just a, a single line of code uh, and we can use it in that situation when you just have to get the data and you don't need to perform any action based on that data and in the second method guys we will just pass the same data to a function just to check like either we are getting the data or uh, getting the error uh, using the apex okay so we'll be having two examples today okay so let's start today's video so first of all let me just open my default org by command shift and p and this is the command all right okay so let's create the first component so guys i will be basically modifying my last component which we have developed in our previous example so i will be basically modifying this delete account component you know just to make the video short okay so let me just create new component first it is create lightning web component so the component name will be uh, you can say bind fire with property okay let's hit enter let's keep it in the default folder all right here it is so this is a new component okay so let me just copy few things from from my old component let me just copy the component bundle first okay it's done so in our last example we were getting the list of accounts and after that we were uh, deleting the list uh, accounts one by one so i will just copy the part in which we were just getting list of accounts so let me just copy the complete component first this is the html and here's the javascript part okay i don't think we need that much of data so let's skip the javascript part okay so here we are having account account id and this was the delete button so let's remove the delete button all right so we are having a basic design of a page in which we are having list of accounts here okay let's save it okay now let's move to the javascript part okay so guys to bind the data uh, with the property first of all we just have to include the apex so to include the apex and in that apex i'm having a um, function which is get acc list so it will basically return the list of accounts so i'm just copying it from my old component and let me just paste it on my this component okay so we have bind the apex here and in in this apex i'm just having a simple function which is just returning the list of uh, accounts here okay so in our class now we will just use wire okay we will wire this get account list to what was the it was accounts okay okay let me just save it
okay we are having some unexpected error here let me just check it out so we have used the uh, all right it, it's my bad it, so there should be rounded bracket instead of the so i was using the wrong uh, braces here basically and the function name is okay and property name is contacts okay so seems fine to me let's save it so we're checking for accounts and it will be returning the account id okay invalid decorator you support decorator api wire and oh we missed to include wire here so just to use the wire apis into your javascript file you have to import the wire also okay guys so the component is ready now so let me just deploy it quickly okay and my apex is already deployed guys in my last example so i don't have to deploy the apex again okay so we'll just hit deploy source to org okay we are having another error here missing matching okay i think we have removed something okay so the lightning card is here okay so this tag was additional this was additionally closed here so let me just save it quickly and deploy source rock all right cool it is deployed successfully now let me just open my uh org first okay now guys i will be creating a new page now for for the next example because uh, if you have noticed the old page is already full so i think we cannot have more uh, components here i mean we can but you know it will just make it look a little messy it says type error Mm -hmm. let's check the apex ones okay so guys uh, i figured it out the issue is we cannot use the wire pro prior property directly uh, we have to use dot data with it okay because uh, while we wired a property while we wired something with a property so it's it will just return the data so we can simply have the data here okay it looks fine now so i think this was the this was the issue in our component okay so let's save this record quickly and try to deploy it again okay so, so it is deployed let's refresh the page and great success so we are having list of records here so guys now we will try to uh, have this property uh, have this uh, we will try to bind the function now instead of uh, this property okay so we will just have another we will create another lightning web component quickly okay so let's hit okay let's name it bind wire with function okay so this is the new example guys so let me just quickly uh, copy the xml and the design part from the old component okay so this was the old component let's copy the bundles first okay so i have copied the bundle here and uh, apart from that i need the html part also 
okay so the html is also here and we will be having some part of the javascript also so we will be having these two values okay here is binary function all right looks fine to me now we are ready to bind the data with a function so guys it is basically same uh, which we have done already in the last example but in this case we'll be having the data and the error also and we will pass the data and error into function and based on the values we will be displaying the records okay so let's have account first and for error we will have error here okay so we'll be using the same function here get account list okay now this function needs to be uh, wired with a wired with another function so we will have okay we will have another function here wired accounts okay in this function we'll be having two parameters error and data okay if it returns data then this dot accounts should contain the data and this dot error should contain uh, should be undefined basically okay else if it contains error then this dot error should be and this dot accounts should be undefined okay that's it so we just have to try it now all right and let's have this error printed somewhere into the component itself okay bind value function okay so let's just have this div outside this okay let's give a new line here okay and we can just simply bind error here okay cool so it's looking fine now and guys uh, this time we are not binding the data to a property we are binding it to a function and that function is assigning the data to a property so we don't need to have data here so we will just remove this dot data from this property okay okay guys so it is saved now now let's deploy it again and let's change the name wired with function okay let's save it and deploy this wired with function okay it is deployed successfully let's go to that page and hit edit page Okay, so bind wired function, here it is. Let's hit save and go back. Okay, we are not getting any data here in this wired function error then wired property all right guys uh, we are having a syntax issue here so while passing the data to the wired function so the syntax should be the round braces first after that 
we needs to have the curly braces also so that's how you can you know pass multiple parameters in your function so let's save it and run it again okay it is saved now let's refresh the page all right success here as well so guys uh, as you can see we are getting uh, data in both functions in the first example we have just wired the uh, wired the data with a property and in the second one we wired the data with a function so while while we wired the data with property we were just getting data so that's why you know we were just using the account dot data in the html file in the lightning component to get the data directly but while we were using the uh, wired with function so in that case guys we were just binding the data to a specific function and in that function we were having error and data there were two parameters in that function so uh, we just assigned the data to the to a variable into the javascript file and we just bind that variable directly into the lightning component okay so guys uh, i hope you learned something new and that's it for today thanks for watching